Hey Episcatorians, welcome back to the channel. So today we're not fishing, but I have a little update if you guys saw in the thumbnail. Something happened to my truck. Well, nothing actually really happened to it. I still have the same beautiful 2003 red Chevy Silverado. However, she's getting old folks. Uh, she's got 214,000 miles on it. And uh, you know, I got that truck when I used to have a 12 foot boat. And for the last, shoot, 17 years actually, I've been uh, pulling that Hughescraft. And going uphill just doesn't quite get it done. So we decided to make a little bit of a change. Um, 2020, I went down to see my buddy uh, Justin in California, and I got a chance to ride in his truck. And it got me thinking about, well, a new truck and a new tow rig. And so after a lot of thought, we pulled the trigger. And let me show you what we got. Right, guys this is the new to me 2018 ram eco diesel um, i bought this at rainier dodge down in olympia um, ran into uh, joe who was the uh, used truck salesman he was totally awesome if you guys are in the market for a dodge or uh, either it's used or uh, new um, definitely check out joe i'll put his contact information uh, in the description below um, with that said let's take a look at the truck Apparently this truck produces 420 foot-pounds of torque and it gets a uh, estimated mileage of about 26 miles per gallon so that's a little bit of an upgrade from the old truck as well both power and fuel efficiency uh, let's take a look inside of this eco diesel and see how she's equipped all right so we'll start with the uh, front seats first but uh, as you can see we got uh, power mirrors uh, one cool feature here is uh, they have the uh, power folding mirrors push button who knew you could get that in a truck also has defrosters in the side view mirrors which is pretty trick and then uh, we'll go into the uh, cab here just move the YouTube stuff pretty nice dash it's got uh, white and red uh, lighting has a digital uh, miles per hour uh, gauge as well has of course Bluetooth um, you can uh, manually shift your gears here and it has cruise control and coming over here you have a turnstile um, gearing so your reverse neutral drive um, you know then you have your push button four-wheel drive it's got a uh, nice navigation screen it's all uh, you know touch screen so you got navigation you can have your phone in there it's got controls for the seats um, it's got a mirror dimmer, backup camera, heated seat, uh, heated passenger seat, heated steering wheel. Um, those are on right now with these red lights. You can just turn them off if you want. Um, but so fancier than anything I've had in a truck. Uh, it also has the uh, 115 plug in outlet, um, cup holders, storage holders, another uh, 12 volt DC plug in there. Then you pop this bad boy open. It's got area for spare change. It's got the USB. Then it's got a big storage area underneath. So I'm sure that'll get filled up in no time. And of course, glove box. But uh, yeah, pretty uh, pretty fancy. Uh, I'm pretty stoked about it. Uh, I'll go show you the uh, um, back seat. We got a full crew cab, so there's plenty of room. Like I fit it back there, uh, no problem. And so we'll uh, jump back and look at that. All right, on to the back seat. So coming in here, we got, uh, again, nice leather. We got cup holders there. Armrest here that's got more cup holders. So we can definitely hold a lot of cups. Another uh, 12 volt DC outlet. And then it's got uh, air conditioning, heater vents for the back seat. And then uh, what's kind of cool is these seats lift up. And it's got a little cargo area right here cargo area you can fold these up now fit some uh, 360 370 tray tackle boxes you know if you need to uh, stack some extra gear if I do and then uh, flip this little compartment up it's got these little cubbies put your toe straps tools whatever you want in there um, so pretty slick and uh, we'll see if I fit in here but I'm pretty sure I do 
And so guys, this is with the seat all the way back in the front passenger seat. I still got plenty of leg room, so it's uh, pretty spacious. Uh, I'm gonna be able to bring a couple of my buddies along on the future fishing trips. And uh, now I'll show you the uh, bed of the truck. So the bed is a uh, short box, um, has LED lighting. Uh, so when you uh, take it out of gear, the LED lights come on. And then it's got a uh, backup camera right here. Have the plug-ins for the trailer right there. And then the uh, tailgate is just a normal drop-down tailgate. A um, friend of mine was telling me that you can get a, a shock right here if you want to make it a little fancier and have that slow drop like some of the brand new trucks have. So maybe we'll do that. We'll see. Also, it's got a uh, power rear window. But all in all, that's the uh, new truck for the channel. Uh, look forward to uh, pulling the boat behind this thing. I bet you that the uh, truck's not even getting other boats there now. Um, but we're going to see how that goes uh, with first trip out to Rife Lake. So hopefully uh, be able to get that video out sometime next week for you guys. Appreciate you guys watching. And as always, tight lines.